remarkable site in Afghanistan, an historic vote for president. Tonight, President Obama calling it a milestone. And just look at the separate lines tonight. Across the country, men waiting to cast their vote and the women waiting in their own lines, too. Millions proudly showing off their fingers stained in purple after voting. ABC's Mohammed Leela on the massive turnout and the millions who defied threats from the Taliban to vote. They stood for hours, millions braving the rain. So democracy is spreading all over the world. From women in burqas to 89-year-old Payvand Ali. All I want is a peaceful Afghanistan, he told us. Every ink-stained finger here, a gesture of defiance to the Taliban, which promised to meet ballots with their bullets. I'm very happy. 25-year-old Fariha put it best in this, a message from the entire country to the militants. You're losers and we are the winners. And that win is historic. 7 million out of 12 million eligible voters cast a ballot. A 58% turnout equal to that of the U.S. elections in 2012. And the biggest victory of all, 35% of all voters were women. Today's vote caps off months of raucous campaigning with extremely tight security. The stakes couldn't be higher. All three leading candidates say they want American troops to stay in the country past the end of this year, something President Obama has asked for. And David, as we speak, millions of votes are now being counted, part of a long process that could take several weeks.